All right, wanted to do another uh, Zmod tutorial. Um, again, my blanket disclaimer that I do not recommend Zmod. You should learn Blender. However, Zmod is what I use. So um, today I've had people ask, you know, how did you add an axle to your truck or your trailer or whatever? Um, so I'm going to go with one I haven't done. At least I haven't done in a long time. Um, I made one a while ago, but going to do the Kenworth Earth W900. So this presupposes that you know how to open things and import and um, all that already and you know how to extract the base. Um, so I'm going to open the Kenworth Earth W900. Now this is um, a lot of the SCS, all the SCS trucks up until I believe the Lone Star used this kind of method where there's both it's all just different variants in one file. You have your cab and your chassis. Um, yeah, so it's all controlled with these variants. Um, kind of focus on making a day cab uh, long chassis. figure out the proper one to use here. See this one here. Um, so I'm just going to turn the cab off since we don't need it. Alright, um, again, so I use select um, quad R and then move as kind of your primary um, functions. So we're going to select this object here. I want to get rid of whatever the hell this thing is supposed to be. Don't need that. Go to vertex. Just go ahead and delete that. Um, I want to delete these step boxes. Oops, not that. Um, so again, go to vertex. Kind of check in the top view here and make sure there's nothing in the middle of the frame that we have selected that we don't want to delete. All right, we've deleted the step boxes. Now this is the time where if you want, you can, um, damn it, here. If you wanted to shorten up these fuel tanks a little bit, get a little more room in here for your axle, that's an option. Um, other trucks, the fuel tank is a separate um, object it's not part of the frame, so you'll have to do that separately. Um, but in this case, it's part of the it's part of this chassis model, so I was able to just do it like that. Um, all right, so now we got to decide what we want to do for the axle. It's kind of interesting. This cab brings in the front portion of this frame with the with the spring hanger there. Anyhow, um, I'm going to turn off the, the shadow. Looks like it's 03. 6x4L. Interesting. There we go. It was that one. Okay. Gonna do its little saving thing here. So it depends on what kind of axle setup you want. So I'm going to select the, the drivetrain here. For, for instance, if you wanted a, a tri-drive, you could just select this axle like this. You're going to convert to polygon, actually. Get all of that. You can use this function here, detach polygons from object. And then 
copy this. Now when you copy, you can just hit copy, click on it, and then drag it to, the, to its new location. And boom, now we have a tri-drive truck with the, uh, you know, a differential and everything right here. Now, then one thing you would probably do in that case, let's see if we can select this drive shaft separate. Yeah, like that. Just want to grab that, bring it up here, so that now your drive shaft's attached to this axle instead. Um, I don't have the the shaft, uh, well I only have half the shaft copied in between because of how I selected that, so you'd have to copy this little rear shaft here and run it between um, between these if you wanted that little drive shaft there. If, you're care, if you care enough about that detail you probably won't see it in the game, but that's one option. So I'm going to undo that. I go back to uh, object mode. I'm just going to pull this out and kind of so now let's say I wanted to turn this into just a, a a featureless axle that's only used. It's not a drive axle. It's only a lift axle. Um, so grab vertex here. Get rid of the rest of that drive shaft. Now this takes some doing. Probably gonna get rid of the front of that. Go ahead and delete whatever that is. It's probably not important. We get take a good look at it over here. Um, I'm gonna delete this. Uh, um, I guess you would call it a pan hard bar, maybe a track bar. Don't need that. Well, maybe kind of. It's gonna leave a hole there, so we gotta decide how we can get rid of it. Yeah, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Yeah, I still ended up with the hole there, so I have to rethink this approach. So I'm just using the side back button on my mouse to kind of go back and... That's the undo button in my case. Just get rid of that and that. And the things you see beyond it, and these are the other objects um, that are still on the truck that are on the same plane, so they they show up there as well. Okay. I'm just going to leave that for now. So the next thing we can do is drag that down. Do these in stages. Again, this isn't going to look super pretty. This is just about approximating what we're what we're going after.
grab those as well. Where all these different view windows are nice, you can kind of typically get the angle you really need. Try and flatten that out. Bring these ones up a little. Okay, so that's, you know, it's pretty ugly. Get rid of this drive shaft output here. We still got that little pan hard mount there, but that's not the end of the world. So that makes it kind of a slim down. Looking axle unit instead of a, a full-on differential and everything. Okay, that's where the point where I'd be happy with it. So that's the way you can work with what you have. Um, some guys would pull the front axle out. I don't think it looks as good um, when it's on leaf springs. It doesn't look like a lift axle. So I prefer the rear suspension with the, the airbags and everything, even though it doesn't look exactly like a lift axle to, does that would have more airbags up front to lift it and everything. But anyhow, so we go back to object mode. We're going to just kind of drag that where we want it. Now if we wanted, we could stretch the frame and give this axle more space, um, be more like a Pacific Northwest style, but which is my, you know, kind of what I prefer, but I'm not really getting into that. And I'm stretching a frame as already covered that in a different video. Um, so now we need axle nodes. So there's going to be two right here. I'm just going to highlight those and then hit copy. Again, just drag when you click. That'll bring them to where you want them. And make sure you click off of copy because anything you click again is going to get copied and you'll have a bunch of duplicate crap. Do it saving thing. Okay. These are our nodes right here. So you have wheel R and wheel F. Um, F is obviously for the front. R is for the rear. If you want a lift, if you want a steering front axle style, uh, front front wheel style, a single wheel, you got to change this to F. And these start at zero and one for your front axle on, that's already on the truck. So now, since there's already zero and one, um, the uh, these are already properly numbered two and three because I copied them from the rear two and three. So. 0 and 1, and then these two would be 2 and 3. So now we've done that. Um, we'll make a note. Um, I'm going to change the name of this to 8 by 4, like, let's see, chess, uh, chs underscore 8 by 4. Um, I didn't copy any of the, the shadow details. Um, that's not the end of the world for that. I'm not 
going to be too worried about it. So we're going to come out of here, save it in the normal spot, make sure our name matches what we put over here. Make sure everything's properly selected here, which it is in this case. So I'm going to use an existing um, mod folder at the moment. Um, obviously create a new one for a specific mod, but so I'm going to go to our truck. So I'm just going to drop W900 right here. It's a quick and easy way to do it and open it. And I'm just going to delete everything that isn't my chassis there. Okay, now we need to create a, a chassis def file. So we will go to def vehicle truck Kenworth W900 chassis. Um, I'm just going to copy long one here. So control C, control V, F2 to rename. We're going to call that um, CHS underscore. Doesn't have to match the name of the, the model file, obviously. Um, so we're going to open that up. So we're going to change this model here because it's no longer the truck model. It's chess underscore eight by four. Like that. I'm just going to rename it to long eight by four. And we got to make sure our, our unique name appears. Um, set because if we don't give this a unique name it'll conflict. So we got that all set up. Um, I'm going to remove this conflict with the day cab because I want the day cab to work. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to put in, I'm going to default to the duty or day cab and it should just be duty. We'll find out. So now we got these extra things here that we need. Um, we're going to add a Oops. We're going to just copy that front axle, paste it there. I want more travel on this. I'm just going to add that much. I'm going to copy that. Um, I'm going to copy one of these rear axles. So this is defining the axles front to rear in the truck. Um, Make this one about a thousand. This is in kilograms, by the way, and then it gave you the the default conversions over here to pounds, and that obviously no matches, no longer matches that. So the other thing I need to add for a lift axle um, will be, let's see here, I find it easy, easy as just to open an existing truck that already has it. And I have plenty of those. Um, okay, we need liftable. Wait. We need liftable and steerable. Doesn't really matter where we place these. And in this case, this is going to match. So I want the first two to, first two axles to steer, and I only want this this lift axle to lift. Now these are also numbered here. Um, I don't know if it matters if you have these numbered and these ones not numbered, so I usually just go back through and number them just to be safe. It's, it starts at zero. Okay, so got all that and this we do have our variant set here so variant is chass long one that's the one we worked on in zmod so we'll save that now vehicle duh. 
Okay, so I'm going to add the W900 to this mod here. And just, again, delete everything that's not relevant to what we were working with. And let's see if it works in the game. And that mod is already active that I added it to. Go to our chassis here. Look for it long, eight by four. Boom, so it's there. You can tell our, our nodes are too narrow. These these tires should stick out more. Um, the axle doesn't look too horrible. The, the model that we butchered up. Um, it's tip, like I said, it's typically not what I do anymore. I take the lift axle from the Project 3XX, which is a very nice model, and just drop it on to whatever I'm working with. Um, you can see it's lifted in the showroom, which means it's a lift axle. We can put some nice wheels on there. I have some nice small lift axle tires. I'm not going to cover making fenders for it or anything like that. Um, you're going to see uh, we've got a problem where our, air ca our trailer cables are now put. Um, it helps when you put the headache rack on. That moves them back a little, but... Um, I don't know why they disappeared when I removed the headache rack. That's a, that'll be a, a deaf problem in the variants and such that'll have to be sorted through to tell it not to, to be added to this chassis by default, I guess. Um, anyways, so you would want to, because that's probably tied to the cab, um, this node that locates this is tied to the cab and not this frame. Um, you probably want to create a new variant of this, um, of the air cables or air hoses, cables, whatever. And then that you select that just moves it back here. Otherwise, if you messed with that node location for the day cab, all your day cabs, even on the short frame, will have that in the wrong spot. So that would, that, you know, it would hang off the end of the truck or something. So something to be aware of. Um, notice we don't have any mud flaps because the mud flaps um, in the def likely have a thing that says they are suitable for the existing chassis um, that were, you know, are supposed to be part of the game, and it doesn't include this chassis we just added. So you'll have to add that as well. Um, no exhaust either. It looks like. So again, these are things you'll have to go into the defs and figure out. Let's see if we can kind of take a look at that. Um, if you want, here's a, like I said, here's a quick look at my Mac Anthem mod, where I basically did the same thing. Let's advance the time, ignore all these errors. But this lift axle model here is from the Project 3XX. That's a proper lift axle model. The textures aren't from the 3XX. I kind of butchered those up. But you can kind of ignore that. I used the, the default chassis textures from the Mac, so I didn't have to pull from the 3XX on that. Um, yeah, this this chassis does it differently as far as headache racks and the, the node for this trailer cables. It's it's tied to the chassis instead of the cab. Um, yeah. So we did that. What was I going to do? Okay. We're going to look at the defs for things like the mud flaps. Um, so now we're going to go to accessory. If we click on one of these, see, it says they're suitable for different chassis. So we would just have to go here and copy one of these. And remember the unique name we gave our chassis. It was long 
eight by four. So we do that and just save that. Um, and we bring our mod back up. Let's do it for exhaust too. Save that. Again, so we're modifying stock parts here rather than creating new parts. If we were creating a new part, we would change we would have to change this unique identifier. Bring up this. So now we're going to, yeah, I saved both of those. So bring chassis here. Again, deleting everything that's not relevant to what I've done. No point in having all these completely stock files in there. Here, long eight by four. Okay, now we have exhaust. It's obviously kind of got the wrong heat shields for without a sleeper, but that's fine. Let's check the mud flaps here. Now we have a set of mud flaps that also work. So, yeah, I'm gonna close that. So that's kind of a way to investigate your def files and figure out why parts are missing from your new chassis and new cabs and things like that. Um, the other, only other thing I wanted to hit here is, let's hit fit, okay. These wheel nodes. So you can see these front wheel nodes, they hang out on this line here. It's halfway between this line and this line. So they were hanging out here. These rear wheel nodes, they're they're uh, they're inside of that by quite a bit. So that's why that looks so narrow. So all we would do is, damn it, select that, drag it out. It doesn't have to be quite as wide as the front. You probably don't want it to be that wide. So just try and make them look roughly even there. And then one thing we might want to do is we'll select this axle. And just kind of widen this up so we don't see a gap between the, the wheel and the axles and the brake drum and everything here. That looks fairly even. Go ahead and export this again. Sometimes you get with Zmod, you see this like BAK, I, I guess that's a backup or something. I don't know why those show up sometimes and not other times, but there's no point in dragging it into your mod. It doesn't do anything for it, so you can ignore that. We'll just check this out real quick and we'll call it a video.
So now the, the width of these looks pretty good. Axle looks decent enough, especially with this diamond plate above top of it where you're not going to really see it very well. I would, I would not hesitate to use this truck as it is. Add some mud flaps. Let's see, is it this one? Exhaust. And that's pretty much it. So, um, hope that's helpful for you guys looking, um, modding your own trucks and adding axles. So, thanks for watching.